Would you like to have this mini sewing machine absolutely free? Then keep watching. Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of So Not Scary. In today's episode, we are doing something super exciting. We will be unboxing a mini sewing machine and if you stick around to the end of the video, you will learn how you too can win a free brand new mini sewing machine for yourself. Let's get into it. And the mini sewing machine that we'll be unboxing today is... Ta-da! Belly Tops! Which brings me to today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Belly Tops Mini Sewing Machine. And if you follow the link down below in the description, you will know exactly what this mini sewing machine is all about, how much you can purchase it for, and what else is contained within the box. But before we do that, let's find out what's inside the box. So here it says it's pre-threaded to start sewing right out of the box, which is a great thing, but I will first see what the thread quality is like. So on the side it says belly tops again, it's one and a half kilos, says the box, which is good, nice and lightweight. That's the upper thread tension controller, free arm for sewing, bobbin compartment, LED light, bobbin winder, dual speed control, foot pedal, the works. We're already familiar with all these things. So let's start unboxing this. The manual, another manual, some bobbins, and that's it. And on the side, there is a foot pedal, and the, there's a power adapter. It's for USA plugs, I think. So that's okay. I'm going to use my own adapter for UK. Here we go. Oh, it's cute, isn't it? Right. It certainly feels nice and sturdy. Um, let's take a look at the different parts and see if there is anything which is unfamiliar for us as beginner sewists. So that's the upper bobbin spindle, thread tension controller, all the same bits, take up lever, LED light, the light switch is there. Can you see that? Can you guys see that? That's a light switch, that blue thing, okay? Um, what else? High low speed setting, on and off. I'm assuming this spindle will come out. Yes, it does. And here as well, this should turn, come out. There, came out. And, yeah. So the hand wheel's turning fine. Um, let's take a look at the little accessories bundle that came with it. Here's the pack that came with it. Let's see. Okay, so we've got an extra sewing machine needle, which is always handy. Two empty bobbins and two filled up bobbins. And, ooh, this is different. This is a needle threading hook. I've never used one of these before. Um, it's, it's very different from the usual design that I'm used to. So let's see how that works. Cool, so we know what comes with it. So in this mini sewing machine, I've noticed two little differences when it comes to threading the machine. There are two additional steps that you need to take and I think these two additional steps have been added to increase the efficiency of the mini sewing machine or to minimize any thread tangling. The first one is that they have given a little wire right there. It's a wired loop. And in the pictures in the instruction manual, which is this one, they show that the thread is actually passing behind that wire loop. So this thread right now, I don't think it's threaded correctly. It should go behind that loop. Um, and what it will do then is, I'm assuming is that 
when the thread take up lever goes up and down, as it goes up, it's not going to yank on the thread and pull the thread out of the tension plate. So I think that's a good thing. In theory, we will have to test it out and see how that goes. The second thing they've done is that they've given an additional um, loop on, above the needle. So previously we just used to have one thread guide above the needle, now we've got two. So once again, I think that's just to increase the efficiency of the machine and to minimize thread tangling. The last thing I did notice with this machine is, look, I'm lifting the uh, presser foot lever. So the presser foot is floating in the air. Now let me try to wriggle the presser foot. Do you remember in our purple machine, the press presser foot wriggles right to left? There is no movement there. There is no movement up and down or side to side. I think that's a good thing. We have to test it out and see how that goes, but it's, it's a welcome change. Um, so I'm, I'm excited about this. Now, on the box it says the machine comes pre-threaded to sew straight out of the box. But if you've been watching my channel long enough, you will know that I always like to use an upper thread sitting on this spindle on top rather than using the thread which is here. So what I am going to do is disengage this thread and use my own Guterman and place it on that spindle, okay? The other thing I am going to do is I'm also going to replace the bobbin thread. So let's see if there's a thread in there. Yep, there is a thread in there, but I am going to replace it with my higher quality Guterman thread and see how that goes. So yeah, let's go ahead and thread this baby and see how it works. So first I'm going to remove the existing thread. I know these things pop out, so I'm gonna shield it with my hand and try and pull it out. There we go. So that's the... And I'm, I have no intentions of using this anyway. There. Um, and now let's remove the bottom bobbin thread. So that's a bottom bobbin compartment. There we go. That thread is out. I'm gonna replace the bobbin casing cap. You kind of have to align, align it perfectly in order to slide it in. There we go, that's replaced. So here's a view of the machine from the side. So that's the hand wheel and underneath it you will see there are two pluggy things. So uh, one of these is for power and the other one is for the foot pedal. Now the power plug that came with it um, is this one, okay, because it's um, adapted for American power sockets, okay. However, I'm going to use my own one because here in England we use the three pin plugs, so that's what I'm going to use. So this is the one that I'll be using, okay. That's the end of it and it's going to go in here in the upper hole. And that's a foot pedal that came with it, so this is going to go in the lower hole. I hope you guys can see that. So this is going to go in the lower hole, right there. Okay, and that's the power setup. I just have to plug it in and we'll be good to go. Right, so our mini sewing machine is now connected. And I know you can see two different wires going around here. Normally I try to hide the wires, but today I wanted to show you guys what to expect when you set up any mini sewing machine like this belly tops one. So you will have the top wire, which is going towards my power socket. And then this is the one which uh, leads to the foot pedal, which is sitting on the carpet. And how do we know that the power is coming through? The easiest thing to do will be to switch on the light. So there's a little blue uh, button right there. Hope you guys can see it. And if I press it, there you go. Oh, Ooh, actually that's quite lovely and bright. I like that. Okay, so we know that the machine has been switched on. So what I'm now gonna do is thread the machine with my thread. So a Guterman top thread and a Guterman bobbin. Let's do that. So I've got an empty 
bobbin that came with the machine and I've got some of my lovely um, lime green or whatever color you might call it lovely green Guterman thread and I'm going to use this to fill some of this bobbin up so here's the top spindle we lift it up it should look like that and always P for perfect so we're gonna put this thread on top of that making the letter P so see it's coming over that way so that's a letter P for perfect I'm gonna pop it on okay now on the side of the machine where the hand wheel is there is a little spindle that pops out when I press it and turn it towards me so I'm gonna press it and turn it towards me and it's popped out there okay there it is and I'm gonna put my bobbin on there but first I'm going to pass some thread through the holes in the bobbin so that's gone through I'm gonna put it on this spindle and turn it away from me just the spindle not the hand wheel and that kind of locks it in place and that's not going anywhere now and now I'm going to pull some of this thread with my one hand hold on to this thread and do a few quick rotations using my, using my foot pedal there that started filling in now so I can snip off this extra thread and now I'll hold on to this and put my foot on the foot pedal and keep filling the bobbin up I think that's enough thread so I'm gonna snip the thread off Take the bobbin off there and now this bobbin is ready to go inside the bobbin compartment let me show you how right so here's the lower bobbin compartment I'm simply going to slide off the top cap there and then I'll take my bobbin and remember the nifty nine method so this time the bobbin has to make the number nine Like so, see the thread is going up and over that way and I'm gonna put this inside the bobbin compartment. Okay, and now we're going to close the lid on the bobbin compartment. I'm going to leave a little bit of this compartment open just to make sure that I don't catch the bobbin thread. I'm going to raise the bobbin thread first and then close it up all the way, okay? Let's start threading the mini sewing machine now. So this time I've changed the top thread so that we know what the top thread is doing and what the bottom thread is doing. Again, P for perfect and now we're going to start passing it through all these little points. So there's point number one right there, which is a little spring loop, one, two, three then behind this four five and then again another loop right there six okay then seven which is above the needle on top of the needle shaft and then eight and finally the ninth and last place will be the actual eye of the needle so we've got nine points to pass the thread through so let's do it really, really quickly and then see how it works. Now in order to raise the bottom thread, what I have to do is hold on to the top thread or the end of it with one hand, okay? And then turn this hand wheel towards myself slowly. And as I do that, the top thread will catch the bottom thread. There, it's caught it. And now if I pull it up, 
you can see that it has come up through that little hole, okay? And now I can use anything small and pointy to just drag that bottom thread up and out. There, the bottom thread is out. Can you guys see it? Pink and green together. I'm gonna snip them down to an equal length, roughly eight inches long. Now I'll slide it down underneath the presser foot into the back and close the bobbin compartment. Now our mini sewing machine is in theory is all set up. Now we need to check and see how it works and what the tension is like. Let's do that. I've got a piece of um, old curtain here that I keep at hand to test uh, thread tension uh, in different sewing projects. So it's just simple woven cotton of medium weight and I'm going to double it up and in my opinion the fastest way to check the thread tension on any sewing machine is through using my square method. If you don't know what that is watch this video where I walk you through what the square method is and I'm gonna use that method to check the tension on this mini sewing machine so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna put it underneath the presser foot Lower the presser foot, lower the needle in, let's switch on the light, and let's sew a square. Now let's take the project out, so I've lifted the presser foot up, let's get the needle out. Always rotate it towards yourself, never away. Now make a loop here and slowly pull it out. Now this might look lovely and pristine on top but it's actually the back of it that's going to tell us a real story of what the tension is like. So let's flip it over. Ah, take a look at this. The pink thread is making big loops on the back. What that shows me is that the pink thread is too loose, which is a top thread, and the bottom bobbin thread is too tight. So we have to significantly increase the tension of the top thread. Let's do that. And now let's sew another square. Now let's check the back of this little rectangle we just did. Look at that, so much better. That's just my mistake, I cut the top thread. But look at the tension or the balance of tension now. Let me refocus this. Look at the balance of tension now. You can hardly see the pink thread on the back and on the front. The stitches look lovely and taut. I would probably stop here or maybe just tighten it a slight bit more for this fabric. Just a little bit. Not too much. And let's sew this again and see what the squares are like. So this is the third and final square we just did. On top it's looking lovely and taut and on the back, look at that. The tension is perfectly balanced. Look at the corners. They are so nice and sharp. And that's what we're looking for. When we get sharp corners in the squares we make, that shows us that none of the threads is looping or too loose or too tight. Whereas in the first square, the thread tension of the top thread was too loose. Okay, so that's how we use the square method to quickly set the tension on the mini sewing machine. And with this belly tops one as well, we've managed to do that. And it looks beautiful. I love it. I really like the way it turned out. Now design and feel wise as I'm using it, as I'm handling it, it feels a lot more robust compared to those very small generic mini sewing machines, the one that I bought on eBay. Um, I like the fact that it's a little more chunkier although it's not much heavier in weight. So the outer shell at least is of good quality. Uh, plastic. It's still plastic, there is no metal outside. I am going to try the high speed setting now and see how that works. So if I press this, 
now we have selected the H for high speed and let's see how it does on high speed. Let's check the stitches. So the stitches on the front and the back came through beautifully. No skip stitches. Um, personally, I still prefer using the low speed setting. So I'm going to keep it here on the low setting. I just find it gives me greater control. But if, if you're someone who likes sewing at high speed, that's something that you could consider. And once again, with this machine as well, they've got, they've got that handy dandy cuff slot where you can sew cylinders like hemming, trouser legs, or sleeves, you know, so I like that. Um, it's good to have that option there in case you are altering garments. One last thing that I would like to try with this mini sewing machine is how the manual function, which is the manual on-off button, how does that work? How well does it work or does it work at all? So uh, I'm going to sew the same piece of fabric we were just working on. Uh, but this time, instead of using a foot pedal, I'm going to use the hand button. So let me re remove the foot pedal cord. So that's out. The touch sensitivity is really good. It's responding well to whenever I press it. Now let's try doing a consistent stitch. That's really good. I'm just going to press the button and leave it there and see how well it does. Right, let's see how we did. So here we are with that um, hand operated stitch we just did. So that's the one we started off with. Came through beautifully. Let's flip it over. Look at that. The stitches came through beautifully. Not a single skip stitch. The thread is sitting really well. I'm happy with that. So that's all there was to the Belly Tops mini sewing machine. But that's not all. This is the best part, guys. So as a thank you to you guys for following me along on my journey of discovery of how the mini sewing machine works and how to basically learn how to sew, as a thank you to you guys, I will be sending out all of this absolutely free to one lucky viewer and all you have to do is go down to the link in the description below click on the link and follow the instructions through I'm super excited because I will be personally posting this mini sewing machine out wherever you are in the world it doesn't matter whether you're in Asia or Africa or Europe or North or South America Australia this is an amazing giveaway for an amazing mini sewing machine you can have this absolutely free I hope you enjoyed today's video it was a little bit different it wasn't on a mini sewing machine but what a great way to conclude our mini sewing machine journey together huh because from next week remember what I talked about the changes coming up I will be starting a countdown right here under the community tab and you will know when the new changes are coming out on this channel uni crafts thank you so much for being here with me guys i love you all i appreciate you thank you so much for your love and support and i can't wait to go further ahead in this creative journey with you all together so let's do this i'll see you guys next week bye